Welcome back to BD Story Maps. Today we're going to have a look at a double population pyramid. So I've collected data from the ABS as well as from the Chief Statistician's Office in Queensland. So this data is 2016 and you can go across and 2021 projected 2026, 2031 all the way across to 2041. And you can see there, uh, the projected population is 93,461. But if we go back, you can see that I've entered the data for each of those, but I've left the males free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through my steps to get it to this point. So I've just right click here, copy, go over to my males and I'll go and I'll transpose and it drops it down into the vertical, which is really handy and you can see there we've now got our populated males. Over here I've put the population, uh, total population down in every category so it makes the uh, equation easier to replicate. So all I'm going to do is equals the total po male population divided by total population and then multiply by 100 and enter and you can see 1080, 1000, so that's fairly accurate. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to click on the little little box in the corner, drag that down to there, and you can see it automatically populates. Once I've done that, I can go down and this is the formatting that I need to be able to do a double population period pyramid. So um, my age demographic breaks, my male's 2016 in a negative, my male's 2041 in negative, female 2016 and female 2041. Now I'm just going to go over, I've, I've copied and pasted that into a clean sheet so I can work from that data there. So all I'm going to do now is copy um, and go insert recommended chart and go down to a clustered bar graph. You can see there it looks pretty well like a population pyramid and just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the demographic breakups, we're going to format axis, and we're going to go across and we're going to go labels and this will throw it to the side so we want to go low and it's definitely thrown it to the side and it looks nice and clean. The next thing we want to do is we want to go down to this one. We want to go format axis again. This time we're going to go to number and we'll go to number and we're going to hit custom and zero semicolon zero and that rectifies the negative numbers there. So we've got a nice clean graph we need a chart title, so we're going to go Pretty happy with that. I would like to put in a axis on the horizontal and I'm going to go percent percent of population and hit enter. Now the one last thing I'd like to do here is I'd like to change the colors. So I'm just going to click on, make sure they're all highlighted and then right click. I'm going to fill and I'm going to go dark purple for that one. And then I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to go light purple or lavender. And then over this side, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go probably a nice deep blue and a nice light blue for that one. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I'll probably do the opposite because, yeah, let's go deep blue so we've got a consistency. Go deep blue. And then for this one, we'll go light blue. Then we've got this consistency of data. And I would be very happy with that. You could put who the population is from um, in a little box down here, who created the graph, and you could definitely analyze the changes or projected changes in data for your particular SA or SA, SA2 or 3. So I hope that hope that's helped. Um, you could do individual uh, population pyramids and set them beside each other. You could do that and do swipe maps in story map. There's all sorts of uh, different formats that you could use to do that. But this is just a double population pyramid, easy to do and very effective for your IA3. Thanks for listening. Talk to you next time.